Hello, hello. Welcome. Please tell us your name. Hello, I am Audrey Quinn Hall. I am nine years old. It is past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> I am here because I love science. Oh my God. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen of the city council, I would like to share with you a very special science moment. Four years ago, at the young age of five, my family and I watched a show called Cosmos, a science show. A show hosted by Neil deGrasse Tyson. He is an astrophysicist that works in New York City. Cosmos is a show about atoms, which are really tiny things that everything is made of. Made of. The Big Bang, which is when the universe was born, and space and other amazing things. I drew a picture of a black hole and mailed it to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Guess what I got in the mail three weeks later? This! Wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> An autographed photo of Neil deGrasse Tyson. This, getting this picture really inspired me. That same year, I met another Cosmos, a robot at the Powerhouse Science Center. Cosmos the robot answers questions and asks questions too. He really got me into robotics. I think giving people an opportunity to learn more about science is important. Why is it important? I'll tell you. Because, because if all people of all ages learn more about science, they will learn more about how the world works. And if they learn more about how the world works, they can do really amazing things like cure cancer, figure out how to repair the ozone layer, <laughs> Maybe even figure out how to live on Mars. So let's give people more opportunities in Sacramento to learn more about science. Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen of the City Council, I humbly ask you to please help fund the new Powerhouse Science Center. Thank you. So, so, so Audrey, that was fabulous testimony. Usually, we have a little clock up here where we limit people to two minutes, but we didn't even start the clock for you. Yes, I, know I refused. You. No way. You, 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 you. First of all, I don't know what you're going to be when you grow up. Maybe you're going to be a scientist, but you have a tremendous future as a public speaker. <laughs> And as somebody engaged in what we call the art of government and politics here too, you know, you did a you did a just a fa fabulous job. Thank you, thank you. The, what the is bag that? Bag is full of, of support letters from other attendees at the science center. These are other attendees at the science center. Very good. Here. Thank you.